Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. I'm an SAP architect and welcome to JF Soft Tech. And in this session, we are going to discuss a couple of transaction codes related to ABAP. You can uh, also uh, also have a choice of listening to this entire transaction codes uh, on an audio mode. I recommend you to also listen to an audio mode whenever uh, you're not able to see this video because there's nothing uh, you know special I'm showing it on the screen. So it's like something which is a part of the you know uh, part of this uh, entire uh, you know uh, re revision to get all the transactions right. Okay, so let's start off with the transaction codes now. Now, ABAP DOCQ is, is, a, is a transaction code which we can open and we can see all the examples. So basically, you, you get a list of all the examples with various commands that SAP gave. And uh, if let's say I have a uh, in object oriented programming, I have a concept of class. So may, there will be a example program uh, which can be used as a, uh, as a you know uh, for understanding the class concept in a better way. And then we have ABAP help. It's a transaction code for keyword documentation. You can write, uh, for example, I would like to read the documentation of a particular command. We can just go for that. You can also get this ABAP help uh, key documentation you can also get it by clicking f1 function key on your uh, on your keyboard if at all if you have selected a particular command let's like say I, I kept the cursor on the right command and i click f1 i'll get i'll get the keyword documentation al03 is for operating system alert monitor al05 is workload alert monitor AL08 is for list of all user users logged on about all instances servers of the system. So you can check out what are the system, what are the you know who are the instances who logged in into the SAP system. You can just find it out by going into the transaction code AL08. DB01 exclusive weights in Oracle database. DB02 database performance and tables and indexes as well. DB03 parameter changes in database. DB05 analysis of table with respect to indexed fields. DB12 for backup logs. DB13 is for DBA planning calendar. PFCG is for role maintenance. RS06 is for maintain alert threshold. RS08 CCMS alert monitor. RS10 is for maintain system profiles. RS RZ20 alert monitor 4.0 rz21 maintain settings for alert monitor rz11 profile parameter maintenance sa30 is for abap reporting remember sa30 you will be you will not be able to create the programs you can access it so sc38 is where we can create it okay scam is for cat management scat is for computer edit test tool scc1 is for client copy transport scc3 client copy log SCC4 client copy administration, SCC5 delete clients, SCC6 client monitor, client import, SCC7 client import post processing, SCC8 client export, SCC9 re remote client copy, SCCL local client copy, SCDO change document object, SCMP table comparison scsc u3 table history sci code inspector se01 is for transport organizer extended view se06 is for setup workbench organizer se09 is for transport organizer se10 is for customizing organizer se11 is for data dictionary maintenance se12 is for data dictionary display So you can only view from SC2L. Well. You cannot create or you cannot change anything uh, from SC2L. You can just display all the data dictionary details. SC15 repository info systems. SC16 display table contents. SC17 general table display. SC37 SAP uh, ABAP function modules. SC38 ABAP editor. SC41 menu painter. SC51 screen painter. SC71 form painter. SC80 object navigator. SC93 maintain transaction codes sft2 is for maintain public holiday calendar sft3 is for maintain factory calendar shdb is for transaction recorder sick is for installation check slin is for extended check sm01 is for lock transaction sm04 uh, overview of users sm13 update terminates 
SM21 system log, SM30 maintain tables. Not all tables can be can use uh, SM30 actually. SM30 we can maintain the tables. SM31 also we can maintain the tables. SM35 is, is for batch input recording. SM37 overview of background jobs. SM39 job analysis. SM49 external operating system commands execution. And SM50 is for work process overview. SM51 instance overview. SM58 error log for asynchronous RFC. SM59 RFC connection maintaining. And SM63 is for operations mode maintain. SM66 is for global work process overview sm69 is for external operation systems commands maintain and sp00 is for spool sp01 is for spool control sp02 is for display output requests sp11 uh, this is for temporary sequential objects sp12 is for temporary sequential administration sp aaad is for spool administration sp am sap patch manager SPAU intersection SAP transport of customer modifications. SPIC is for spool installation check. ST01 is for SAP system trace. ST06 is for operating system monitor. ST07 application monitor. ST09 table call statistics. ST11 display developer trace. ST12 is for application monitor. ST22 is for dump analysis. ST80 is for local transaction statistics stun performance monitoring su01 user maintenance su02 maintain authorization profiles su03 maintain authorizations su10 maintain change to user user records su12 delete all users su2 maintain user parameters su53 display authorization check values sm12 is for to unlock the lock entries SAAB is for checkpoints that can be activated. SALE is for ALE customizing transactions. CG3Y is for transfer file from application server to front end. And CG3Z is for transfer file from front end to the application server. Remember, these two transactions will work in the latest, uh, 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 latest uh, versions. In the old versions, this was not available. NSE, NACE transaction conditions of output control to create a link between the forms and the driver driver programs. Form forms in the sense scripts and smart forms. We can link the script or smart form with the transaction codes using the transaction code NAC. ST05 is for SQL trace for performance tuning. You can track you can just track how many tables are been you know uh, uh, touched by the program when we execute it. SC30 is for ABAP runtime analysis. SC61 is for SAP documentation. SC62 is for industry utilities. SC63 is for translation in initial screen to translate short and long text. SC64 is for terminology. SC72 is for SAP script analysis or script styles. SC73 is for SAP script for ma font maintenance. SC74 is for SAP script format conversion. SC75 is for SAP script settings. SC76 SAP script form translation. SC77 SAP script styles translation smart forms. Uh, the transaction code itself is SMARTFORMS. And WEDI is for uh, IDOC and EDI basis, WE31 is for segment creation, WE30 is for IDOC type creation, WE81 is for creation and assigning of message types. So, uh, if at all, if you feel that this video is worth, worth it, like you can just click on the like button, share it with your friends so that it will help them as well. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get regular updates on the latest videos. Do click on the uh, bell button after subscribing it so that you can get all the notifications whenever you upload a new video. And for SAP trainings, you can contact us at info at the We'll get back to you on any, any kind of SAP trainings. And uh, thanks a lot for watching this video and do write in the comments what type of videos that you would like to see in the future so that I can build upon them and uh, uh, would be uh, happy to help you out. Thank you. Have a great day.